Hi, if you're a beginner, you definitely need to know these three key rules of how to play opening. If you will learn them, I can guarantee that you won't lose very quickly and you will improve your chances to win in the game in general. With help of the short game of ex-world chess champion Michal Tal, I will explain you these statements and I believe that they will help you. My name is Pavel Martinov, I welcome you to my YouTube channel and let's start. In this game Michal Tal played white and he started with e4, his opponent g6. It's possible move, d4, bishop, g7. Black's idea that they are ready to give a nice center for white, but they want to push c5 at some cases to destroy the center in the future. That is like a strategical idea of this opening. So knight c3, d6, knight d3. Everything is going according to the logic. So the first key statement that you need to learn, you need to develop your pieces and you need to conquer the center. So the fields in the center are very important in chess. And who is controlling the center? Controlling basically the game. And if in this situation black can't create an active counterplay against the white center, white will be really better. And you can see that uh, Tal bringing his knights closer to the center to make more influence to the center. So again, he's doing his uh, developing uh, on focus on the center. It's also important. c6, bishop g5, queen b6. That's already a bad move. Especially for the beginners, I never recommend to go so early with the queen. Before you're going with the queen, you need to develop other pieces like knights and bishops, and you need to make your king safe. With this will help you castle. So short side or long side in some cases, but it's really important to go out from the center with the king if you're a beginner. Because I, a center is really not that hard to unlock and the attack to the king in the center will be really powerful. And in this game, we will see a nice example of this. And when queen appears too early in the game, white starting to treat this queen and creating a tempos on this, and black will waste time. So we will see. Right now b2 is hanging, but queen d2. Michal Tal is ready to sacrifice b2 pawn, and the principal line is to take how it was in the game, because I want to make long castle and uh, have a very nice play, and queen b6 will be a wasting of a tempo, because b2 won't be a hanging pawn after long castle. So queen takes b2, rook b1, queen e3, and just bishop c4. And what we can see in this game? One, two, three, four, five, six developed pieces against only two developed pieces. And this queen even can be trapped somewhere here in this corner of the board. And I'm ready to make a castle and uh, bring out my king from the center. And after, because I conquer the center, and I will finish the development, I will go to the attack. So queen a5, black's trying to save this queen and probably push back to the home in some cases. Just castle, e6, rook e1. The last piece that didn't play in the game comes to the center, comes to the same line with the black's king and ready to support some e5 or even d5 in some cases to unlock the center and this position is getting very dangerous for black probably the best was here to play knight d7 to care a bit about the development but black tried to play their own game a6 and we can see that we developed our everything we conquered the center with our pawns we made our king under save i mean under these pawns so what should we do else after this in this situation white's really ready to start an attack. Bishop f4. The first move, the d6 pawn right now is hanging, and if I will take back the pawn, I will be really a way better than black, because I have more pieces in the game, and the position of black's king will be very, very dangerous. For instance, if black will move some, like knight d7, I will take on d6, so um, short castle never appears more. This is bishop, taking influence to the whole board, and I'm ready to d5 to unlock this king. So basically that is why the position of the king is very dangerous in the center, because center is really easier to unlock. Here I need to push just d5, 
and I'm ready to have some pawn battle and some exchanges to unlock the lines in the center. But how to unlock this position? Even if black's pawn will come, first of all, it's very long way. And secondly, why I can figure out how to prevent this. And to make this, black needs to have a pieces in the game, but their pieces are still on the starting position. So bishop f4, e5. Um, here, black's trying to take some tempo. Yes, because the f4 is hanging right now. And defend a pawn on d6. Takes, takes. But what is the point? The point is that the d-line now is open. And this king becomes a real target on the d-line. Remember that your weight pieces, like rooks and queen, they are really beloved to play on the open lines. And d-line is this open line that they will use. Tal comes with queen d6. Interesting move. Basically, right now, two pieces hanging for white, but they're both pleasant. If you will take on f4, I think that I can go even knight d5. So my idea is to push knight to the c7 with the attack to the king and to the rook, and the king, he can't move even after this. But if c takes d5, I sacrifice two pieces already. E takes d5, and the rooks is coming to the game, and the queen is here trapping this king and this position is absolutely winning for white so we can see that there's a domination and the attack is too strong so in the game black decided to suffer for the material but in another way queen takes c3 but again the key trouble is this king in the center rook e d1 we connected our pieces on the open line and basically we want to go queen d8 checkmate 97 seems the only one move so in here, Mihal Tal uh, found a way how to unlock this king position and go direct with the checkmate. Basically, at this point, we need to repeat the key statements. The first one is developing of the pieces. The second one is fighting for the second uh, for the center. I'm sorry, and the third one is the king safety. For the king safety, you can use castle. And firstly, we need to develop our light pieces like knights and bishops. And only after this, we need to develop our weight pieces like rooks and queen. Queen can go out even in the last order. So here, returning to the game, Mihal Tal played bishop takes f7. A very magnificent move. What is the idea? King takes f7, knight g5. King e8, the only one, queen e6. And basically here, black resigned. The f7 pawn defended this king. And right now I have the idea of place this queen to e6 and this king is hanging. So after king f8, I can go queen f7 checkmate. After, for example, knight e7, I can go with the queen to f7, king d8, and knight d6, a very beautiful checkmate because this knight is controlling c7 square. And here, after king, uh, after for example, uh, king d8, probably this checkmate that I will show you right now is the how to say is the best one uh, in this position because we can underline all uh, white pieces. So knight f7, king c7, and here queen d6. And as we can see in this position, all our pieces is working. So the rook is working with the queen. The knight is working with the queen and actually takes d8 out of the king. And even this rook on the same open line is working because b6 is uh, not available square for this king. And this knight, uh, bishop on f4 basically started our attack. Remember bishop g5 f4. So all our pieces are playing together in the game and all our pieces are playing against this poor king on c7. And that is the way how we are trying to find the harmony in chess. Uh, you need to always use all your pieces, to bring all your pieces to the game and use the harmony between them to checkmate your opponent and to win the game, actually. So, with help of this short and really interesting game of Mihal Tal, I hope that you learn something new for yourself. And as a beginner, you will remember our three key statements of the opening. And if you will follow them, you won't lose quickly and you have more chances to win. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We'll see you on my new videos. Have a nice day.